Got you guys on the head cam today. So we'll see how that works out. Appears to be intact. Shiny still. Tires are definitely bald, but we're getting new ones of those. Oh, that thing's crusty. But yeah, we're gonna see if this thing starts. And the Jimmy will, of course, start. And uh, yeah. Well, no mouse houses yet. Some shit back there, but that's definitely a decent amount of shit back there, actually. But, you know. Oh, that's what I forgot to bring was my booster pack. Hopefully this battery's... Huh? Sounds good. Yeah, a little tight over here. You can see the screwdriver loves to jump out of these things. Let's hope nothing jumps out of the intake right here. Oh, mice, you know. Yeah. Well. Oh. Sell these and take the money maybe and buy an engine for that. I'm assuming it's a sign there was, oh yeah, definitely some wildlife in here, checking it out. But, I don't see any nests. What are you seeing in here? Any mouse houses? Nothing alive. There's, you know, markings that they've been here. Oh yeah? But well, that's a squirrel. That looks like maybe squirrel fur? Good thing they didn't have any holes that the mouses could get into. Well, like this giant one right here. In there. Oh, it looks good though, otherwise. Oh. It's all good in here. I guess the threat of the cat has really paid off. I'll have to slap the battery in here and then uh, try fire her up. It's really just a disaster waiting to happen. The more I think about it, this hole down in the proximity there, but uh, let's just wipe this excess battery acid off here that seems to be leaking, and then we'll go up to the front here. So that's good. Battery acid all over my hands. Gotta get this off. That appears to have preserved the turbo. Great. And we got one over here. Oh, that. Oh, 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 no. This is not ideal. We really want to kind of avoid the moisture in the exhaust. Well. Oh, <laughs> my O2 sensor's in there too. Perfect. I'll have to order one of those. But, uh, alright. Oh, look at that. I wonder if my gauge is broken, but... That's impossible. It's gotta be... <laughs> For there still to be 45 PSI in there. 
That'd be bananas. But uh, S10 guys ripping it. Yeah, look at that, eh? I mean, I guess we fixed those leaks pretty good. <laughs> the only way or it's broken. Tell, the only way to tell is to loosen a line. See if it's. Oh, I'm not that curious. We'll just, we'll see if the gauge works once it. All right. Double checking, because it's the smart thing to do, guys. Huh. Well, that's a weird... Tin... Uh. Hmm... the kind of strange looking and feeling oil. Gas. Oh? Smells oh, gassy. Looks watery to me. Oh yeah, but it's gas. It would be gray, like cream colored if it was water. Well, I, it's definitely gray, but it's, yeah, and it's not the, the milkshake. milkshake. Yeah, I as they say. I can smell gas. Chances are it's full of gas. Like after when we first it's started running. Full of gas. Well, it smells pretty gassy. How much is in there? Full? Over full? Well, I hadn't wiped it yet, but it said over that, the full. But we made our marks. But you never. There's three like, marks on here. Yeah. I don't know which ones. Right. Actually. I would assume the top one is full. I've done an oil change on it though. Yeah, since it first ran, yeah. Probably. Run it, and then if it gets all creamy, then you know that it's uh, water maybe. Well, I think the key word is run it, so. I mean, or op option B is you could clean up a drain pan, drain it, and have a look. And if you're happy with it, put it back in. I mean, well, it's, def it's definitely gas. Rather than running it. Well, let's just see what it does here. I think we're good. Uh, no, I would, I, I'd put this rad hose on. Why? Because when the water pump starts pumping, it's going to pump yeah, the stuff out of it. Shoot it all over. And you got it yeah. Out. Now that I think about it, we pushed it back here like this. I, th <laughs> I was thinking we drove it in like, I put yeah. On because, I mean, unless you want that stuff to get drained out. No. Yeah. Well, not Cattle violently. Like yeah. All right, so we'll do that and be right back. That's what sucks about snow blowing is uh, in a gravel driver. I find it all over in my yard too. Well, this also looks good. I mean, this one's just put a battery in it. That's it. Hey. It's low. It's, yeah, basically. I'm just curious if it's mouse turds or squirrel nests or anything in here, but oh, it looks good. What do we do for coolant with this thing? I don't know. It must have coolant in it, I guess. Does it? Or is it just water? Something. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even. <laughs> Too many turbo Mustangs. Well, for uh, people new, this is a six liter. I think we put GT45 in the fall. And this is a 5.3 with the S475. More near the front. It's starting to look like this. So like the front is high, and then it's like almost slopes down and then up again. I noticed that at work. The frame's probably starting to bend in the middle. No. Been jumping in there? Not much. Jumping. Spit on it. Well, something's coming out of it now. 
Well, yeah, there's been stuff oh. hissing because the engine, that's why it was zip tied up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because the engine's full to the top. It's this stupid overflow that the track made me put on is right in the way here. I'd say he's got an exhaust gasket. Yeah. It's retarded. A um, little bit of grease. Well, I might just have to move this stupid well, fucking go from this way, maybe? canister. This angle. Give her a whirl. She's got it on. Wow. Might loosen it for me. I kind of assumed that would happen, but I didn't want to ask, you know. On, but I think you can still go a little further. There we go. Oh. There you go. I don't even need a clamp. Really? But since we're here. Alright, so we'll tighten this up. Tighten that up, and then we'll get to starting this. Gonna start her up. Alright, well, we're here. Alright, I'm gonna hit the key, so just let me know if something. Okay. I'll, I'll be outside in a second. Anyway. Well, here. All right, here we go. Touch here. Just yeah. The controversial wheel. Yeah.
we lose a tire, we're going to lose this quarter panel. Oh yeah, the whole thing is just ready to... A little thin there, yeah? Stop picking at it. I thought I just don't want to drive over that and go through the tire. So we've been letting it warm up. I put the, uh, we did all the coolant stuff, so that's all good. It's up to temp and stuff. What I want to do now is uh, just put it on the trans brake, try to build some boost, log it, see what, how much boost we built, see where the spark is at, see where their fuel is at, and try to make adjustments from there to try to speed up the building of the boost. All right, so laptop hooked up, make sure things are logging, yes. Little trans brake switch. I checked the transmission fluid and it was low, but not like just right at the bottom of low, so. Just turn it off. Right. <laughs> Is it all good? Just residuals? take a look at the log but it really seemed like it kind of got I was watching how much boost and uh, it got to a level and it just stopped there maybe the wastegates cracked a bit sure. that that might be what it is actually because <laughs> we might have reached but we'll take a look but I kind of tried to make a wall in the tune so it would build boost and then you know hit this super low timing and chill 
because I don't want to buy we got a stock computer zip tied in here you know guys intercooler down there but uh, I don't want to buy all these boxes I want to get like a uh, Holly Terminator or a Mega Squirt 3 eventually but I don't want to spend that money on this car just right yet so we're working with this and I don't want to get a boost controller and a two-step and a bump box the bump box can be done for cheap I know how to, you know with the solid state relays and whatnot there's ways to do that on the cheap but the two-step and the boost controller is tricky so if I can somehow make this work you know with what I have to be an effective drag race car then that would be perfect we're gonna do the final test now got it logging uh, I found out why at idle it was still 16 degrees the idle timing table so I I bumped the timing up so it'll be near max like you know optimal timing right up until the 4000 rpm area and then it drops right down to 10 which seemed to hold it there so anyway let's she's a hard starter sometimes i mean it does that because the cam sensor doesn't work but that is what troubles me that hard like lugging smoke there but that's probably just shit burning off the uh, charge pipes because they have that header wrap on them. First gear, trans brake engage. transmission fluid too now hmm. I don't know it almost seemed to not like that one as much 